Hey Fergie, um, you and uh, Gabe played together in Ontario last season and when you both kind of got the call up to the NHL, you played together again with the Kings. Uh, how easy was it for you guys to translate that chemistry from the AHL to the NHL? Yeah, uh, definitely, you know, much easier just because you are used to uh, play with him, you know, play a lot of games with him in, down in Ontario and, uh, you know, you get the chemistry going and all that. So, uh, it was yeah, it was uh, it was really it really easy for me, you know. Gabe, uh, he makes my uh, my job when he has easy just because he is more as a as a passer, you know. So uh, for me, it's just to try to open now, uh, you know, open always the the spot on the ice, be open for him, and uh, you know he can deliver the puck to me. So uh, that's uh, you know I'm really happy I can play with that, that kind of player, and uh, you know he 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 likes to pass. So I just I only thing I need to make sure I just gotta go put it in and. Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, I make him happy and he makes, uh, he makes me happy as well too. So uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, there is a lot of things still to work on and just, just because that was a long break, you know, we just got to get back um, how we was before, but, uh, you know, we also have a uh, juice with us too as well. So, uh, you know, I think we can be a really good line together. We just talked with Todd who mentioned that, you know, the offensive side of your game, that's kind of what they've come to expect from you. Uh, what have you done in the offseason? What are you working on here in camp to kind of round out, you know, the rest of the game and make it kind of like a, a consistent play from 200 feet? Uh, you know, uh, it was just a long summer. You know, everyone, I mean, everyone worked out for so long, you know, so you work on your shape and, uh, you know, the skates you have in the summer, yeah, they are good, but, you know, it's not like the real practice what we have right now here. So uh, the first couple of days, it was kind of hard for me just to get into it, you know, get the tempo going and everything. And now it's just a structure, you know, get, the, you know, the reminder and what we have to do. So this is the thing I got to go focus on uh, right now, just make sure where uh, what we have to do, you know, the four check and uh the neutral zone and the d zone so that's uh that's just uh kind of what the reminder right now what uh i'm uh you know i kind of forget it over the summer and uh, now it's just gotta get back in in my head but uh you know just try to focus you know just you know gotta go hit the net you know i don't want to uh, miss the net too much you know because i can create the opportunity for the rebounds if i hit the net all the time so that's the biggest thing you know and uh you know just play overall uh uh, 200 game uh, game you know be good uh, as well as uh, in our D zone and all that stuff just because that's important as well not just the offense thanks Bergie. yeah okay next up is Jack Harris hey Martin um, how uh, how close were you and Andreas when you guys were in Detroit together and uh, what do you just like most about his game yeah, I mean, uh, we got drafted t uh, together the same year, you know, we went through the the minors together. So I remember playing with him in the minors and then uh, a little bit in uh, Detroit too as well. So yeah, we, uh, you know, we know each other for a long time, you know, um, uh, double A, he's, uh, he's a really fast player, plus he's got a lot of skills too. So when, uh, you know, when he's got the puck, you want to give him the puck because you, uh, you want him to use his speed and his skills to go, you know, one and one against the D and all that stuff. Plus, uh, you know, two years ago, he scored 30 goals, you know, so he wants, uh, I bet he wants that thing back, you know, be that goal scorer, you know, be create a lot of chances and, uh, and all that. So definitely, you know, we, we can use him a lot, you know, that he can make our team better. You know, we, we want him to, you know, succeed as well. So, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's a great, he's also a great guy, you know, great guy in the room. He's, uh, I've, you know, spent a lot of time with him. So it was a lot of fun and, uh, you know, I like hanging out with him. So I think it's a, it's a great fit for, uh, for the Kings as well. How much different does Gabe look just physically given that, you know, he was finally healthy this off season and uh, isn't jumping in after, you know, a, a year of rehab? Yeah, I mean, Gabe looks good. You know, I I I love playing with Gabe. You know, it's uh, it, he's a great player. He's you know he was drafted really high. You know, that's what you get. You know, yeah, he was uh, doing the rehab at his back, but I think he's uh, he's good to go. You know, he's really excited. Uh, you know, to start the season. Uh, you know, he's always uh, he's always first at the ring. You know, he's just he loves you know he loves the game. So uh, you know, it's. We cannot wait to start playing the games. You know, it's just how I said it before. It was a long, uh, long uh, off summer, and uh, now we just want to get back into the games. And uh, I think Gabe looks good. You know, he's strong and he's really confident. You know, he's running that power play. You know, so he's uh, he, he he will be good. You know, I think he will he will have a big year. Thanks, Bert. Yeah. 
All right, next up is Nick Nixon. Gabe Velarde, you mentioned his passing uh, earlier. What other parts of his game kind of uh, excite you as far as him moving forward to be a better player? Oh, I think, you know, he, he tried to, you know, they might want him to skate a little bit more. And, uh, you know, he's also like, yeah, he's a passer, but he's, I think he's got a really good shot, you know, in, uh, you know, I think he's the guy, he always looking first for the pass, but, uh, you know, he can definitely, if he uses his shot uh, more then you know, he can be also a good uh, goal scorer as well. But I think he's overall, he's, his game is good. You know, he, as a center, you have to be really smart, right? He's, you are the smartest player in, in the line pretty much. So I think he's, uh, really good his responsibility to be good really defensively plus he brings a lot of offense as well so it's uh you know uh we as as a me as a winger you know i am uh i'm just when i watch him play and you know he's as a center he, he got, he's doing a lot of work for uh, for me and not just for me but for uh, all the all the guys uh on the ice so i think overall like he's a really good um you know he kind of reminds me like a copy he does a lot of work as well too you know for his uh for his teammates so i think he's uh he he's he's also big and protects the puck as well uh, so uh yeah he makes uh he makes the job uh, easy for everyone else and you know his i think his game uh it uh, since like a last year and this year the camp when you watch him he got uh stronger and faster so yeah it's uh i'm really excited how uh just how when we start playing and uh, see him in uh, real games and for yourself on the power play um is it stress to you because of your shot that they want you shooting as much as possible is did you is is that the role you see you in uh when you're out there with the man advantage Oh yeah, definitely. You know, that's my, I think that's my biggest strength and uh, I, I got to go use it. Right. If, if I don't use my shot, I think I will not be on the power play. So uh, they want me to shoot as much as I can, you know? Yeah. Not every time is the line there or something. I got to go uh, give up the shot and make a pass, but you know, that's pretty much what I always tell the guys on the power play, you know, just play it from the gate side all the time. And he's the, He's the main guy, you know. He's the brain, and he will he will make the plays wherever is the seam to me or uh, up uh, up to Wax on the on the point there. So, uh, you know, for me, I'm just I for me, it's just focus. You know, make sure when I I find the open lanes for them to give me the puck, and uh, hopefully I can uh, put some goals. Or uh, I gotta go make sure I hit the net too as well. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Next up is John Hoven. Uh, just wanted to ask, uh, first of two questions here was, uh, about your training in Calgary, just wondering, um, how that went overall and just, was it good to connect with a couple or keep connected with a couple of your teammates, you know, during the time off and, uh, and maybe get a little bonding in. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, it's, uh, I mean, I spent some time here after the season in LA, but then, uh, I didn't want to have something, uh, like have a little change, you know, so we went up to Calgary and then uh, I continued my training there and uh, plus I was going on the ice with a lot of, a lot of actually uh, Kings uh, players too. So it was kind of nice to see them, you know, and uh, skate with them, hang out with them as well. You know, with the COVID, it's, it's, it was a little bit tougher just because, you know, you don't want to uh, hang out, I guess, as much, you know, you want to be careful so you don't get it and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, we did a couple of stuff with uh, with uh, with the Sutter. You know, he had us over for uh, for some wine tasting, so that was actually pretty fun. And then uh, with Clagger, we went to the to the lake house in BC as well. So we we spent a couple of days together there as well. So you know, overall it was it was good. Uh, you know, spending uh, first of all we had a long um, long off season, so it was nice to spend more time you know, training and with the family and all that stuff as well. But, uh, you know, I guess everyone was itching to get back and, you know, start the, start the training camp and also start the season as well. So, uh, I mean, overall, it was really good. You know, I enjoy it. But, uh, you know, you don't want to, you know, the training was just too long. And then uh, last question would be uh, a few months ago on Kings of the Podcast, you told us, to put you down for 25 goals this year with the 56 game season that projects out to about 17 goals. I just want to make sure I have my notes updated. Are we, are we keeping you down for 17 here or what? Yeah, hey, I, I will do a, my best to get as many as I can. Uh, you know, I just want to help the team win as many, as many games as we can, you know, and, uh, uh, this is just going to be really a weird season and, uh, you know, we, we set our goals and we, we want to 
achieve it, you know, as a team and, you know, whatever, whatever I got, I will be happy with. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, I think it's main on the, how the team will do. If the team will do good, I mean, everyone will do good. So hopefully, hopefully everything will go smooth and everyone have a good season. Thanks, Marty. Yeah, thank you. All right, we're going to go back to Jack Harris. Yeah, Martin, just one quick follow-up. When, you know, not being able to go on the ice as much this offseason, are there places off the ice that you practice your shot? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, definitely. You can always practice your shot that uh, anywhere outside, you know. You just got to go find a – you just have to have a net and your stick and a couple bucks. So – that's uh that was not an issue you know I was trying to focus more on my uh uh on my training just in the gym I did spend a lot of time in the gym just to make sure I am uh, I'm ready for the season I uh, uh you know I always try to work on my cardio as much you know especially the how the game goes right now it's so much faster you know and you have to have a good cardio because the you know, a lot of players are now fast and they can skate for a long time. So I was focusing more on that. I kind of tried to keep, uh, I think I didn't touch the stick for, uh, the, since we were done uh, the last game, I didn't touch my stick for probably four or five months. You know, I was just focusing on the gym and then slowly try to get back on it with the stick and all that stuff. So my main focus in the off season was just uh, on my, uh, on my shape and, uh, as be as, uh, as in the best shape as I can for the, the upcoming season. Sounds good. Thanks. All right. We're going to finish up here with Carlin Bath. Hi, Marty. Just a quick question. I heard you mentioned um, wine tasting with Sutter. Is that Brett Sutter, Daryl Sutter? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what no, was that like? What'd you do? I was with Brett Sutter and we had, uh, I think each, uh, I think we had uh, seven guys or eight guys there. Oh, pretty much all the Kings guys, and uh, each player had to bring, uh, I think, two bottles of wine, and uh, we just cover it like with, uh, with like a paper bag, so we didn't know what kind of wine was that or who brings it, and then, uh, yeah, we were just uh, tasting till the bottles were pretty much empty, and uh, yeah, then we decide who's the winner on that. So uh, that was pretty, it was it was good, but uh, yeah, in the end, uh, you had a little headache in the end. So, so who knows? Fun. Who knows their wines best? Who was the winner? I think the winner was uh, Aston Strand. He had the best wine. And uh, a lot of people agree on that. That was a really good wine, yeah. Love that. Thank you so much. Nice yeah. to see you. Yeah, nice to see you too.